Uh, what's up, YouTube? Uh, here with another review. I have the first generation iPod Touch here. Uh, it is jailbroken, uh, but forget that. That's really not that big of a deal. It's pretty much the same exact design. Everything's the same. Uh, as you can see, it's got that brushed aluminum as opposed to the I iPhone's uh, kind of plastic back. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's hop into the device. Okay. You can see uh, the screen is on the lowest setting, so you can see it, but you can turn it up or down as, as much as you like. Yeah, that's not really that big of a deal, so let's slide to unlock. doesn't make any sounds, does not have a speaker. I will later on be doing a video on either the iPod Touch second generation, which will be right down there in an annotation. If you want to just click that, be right there. Uh, yeah, okay. So... This device costed $299 when it came out. I purchased it for $270. Uh, Best Buy, I think, was running a special. Um, okay, so the device is very fast and very jumpy. It does its job well. Uh, tons of applications off the App Store, which are free. I have most of mine are free. I mean, yeah, I do have, you know, Monkey Ball and... Uh, Rolando and stuff like that, but, but aside to those, uh, they're they're free. And then I have Touch Grind also. Okay, so uh, you see you have iPod here. Uh, actually, normally uh, you'd have music and then you'd have videos, but I jailbroke it, and I can have put my videos and my music into one and make it that little iPod logo right there, just like on the iPhone. And I prefer that to having to you know swap out or something different. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Okay, let's hop into the uh, Safari application. I'll be doing three. I'll be doing on the App Store, uh, the, uh, the Safari, and then also, um, what was the other one? Hang on. Um, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of, my head, my, I'm going brain dead. Uh, uh, dang it. Hang on, let me, let me exit out of this real quick. YouTube, that was the other one, I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah, the at the iPod Touch loads very quickly for being such a thin device, only eight millimeters thin, or is it point eight? Yeah, it's eight millimeters thin, I'm almost positive. Okay, uh, let me flip it back inside here. It does have the accelerometer built in, just like on the iPhone. So you can scroll the web this way, or if you wanna flip it back this way, tilt it up and it's back to bad. I prefer viewing it this way but if it's uh, something I uh, like need to read I'll kind of turn it to this way and then I can view in a lot better and that's kind of handy. Yeah. Okay so uh, yeah let me turn this back to here to what's it called portrait I think. Yeah. All right. So uh, okay on my site right now we're on my site loaded masterasm.com. I have a YouTube video which we can play right here. Of course, you have to get these handy-dandy speakers, which, let me go ahead and get those since it's the first generation. Uh, also, the speakers with the microphone, the earphones work. Where's the speaker? Right there, right there. Play. Right there. Let's see. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Other than that, it plays YouTube videos really well. Really, really high quality also. Um... Okay, uh, the microphone, uh, which I got these off of uh, the iPhone uh, microphone or whatever, uh, they do not work in the first generation. They do not have support for that in, in the first generation, only in the second generation, which I find a little strange. Uh, not really that big of a deal because I don't really use the microphone very much. Okay, Safari app works very quickly and very efficiently. It's just, it's the full page and it's not half a page. Uh, also, another thing, real quick, about the iPod Touch is, if you're gonna get one, get the clean, get a cleaning cloth. This a clean, this cloth that's laying on right now is a cloth I used to clean it with. The one that came with number one, I lost it, and number two, it it was really, it's just not a professional cleaning cloth. Uh, so I advise you to get one of those. Okay, let's hop into the App Store. The App Store is something I browse all the time. Uh, also, they're doing a uh, one billionth download thing. If you want to check that out. Uh, it's like one billion. There it is, right there. It says, uh, "Countdown to one billion app downloads." Where will you be the winner? 
It says 931,078, uh, excuse me, 900 and, gosh, 931,000, wait, what the heck am I saying? 931 million, no wonder, 78,968 apps downloaded. That is incredible. And I'm sure if I reload it or whatever, it'll come back up to a different number. Watch us do this and this. Oh, never mind. Didn't do it. Well, that's incredible, guys. That, I mean, really, that's insane. Because let's download an app real quick. Uh, let's do a free version. Let's do a free. Let's do a top free app. Uh, let's just do this awesome ball. What the heck? Why not? Stop. Let's download an awesome ball. I have to enter my password here. Probably. Yeah, it'll prompt me for my iPhone password. Hang on. Okay. And we see we've got Awesome Ball right here. And it's loading up. And I'll let that load while we hop into the YouTube application. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So, YouTube is another application that I use almost every day. The main applications I use are Safari, Mail, YouTube and the App Store. Those are the applications I'm always using. Seriously, it's like, you know, it's incredible how much I use those apps. Okay, so uh, let's play a video real quick. What the heck? Okay, uh, let's do Fred on April Fool's Day. Uh, the videos load fairly fast. Uh, it's Wi-Fi speed, so you can uh, think about that if you if you know about Wi-Fi, if you know about technology and whatnot. Okay, so let's play a video real quick. We do have to have the earphones since it's the first generation iPod Touch. I think that's annoying. I really do. I, I think that they needed to enter or put a speaker in the first generation in the first generation because uh, they kind of gypped you. Because Apple's prices now for the iPod Touch eight gigabyte model, which I do have, is two hundred and twenty nine. Okay, here we go. Here's Fred. Okay, there we got to get a little bit of a delay there, probably because I'm uploading this YouTube video via quick capture. Give me a second. Hey, it's Fred. Okay, all right. Well, that's just the YouTube application. It's, it's, it, I mean, it works, but also, and this is scary because I've just noticed this, I don't think Apple added a Flash Player because it doesn't support all types of videos, but check this out. I already showed you this before. It's loading, by the way. Uh, another thing about jailbreaking iPod does slow it down quite a bit and reduce battery life. So if you don't like to reduce battery life, I wouldn't suggest you jailbreak it. Also, okay, that app is almost done downloading. Okay, watch this. When we go to YouTube.com, oh, it voids your warranty. That was the other thing. Okay, YouTube.com. You. Okay, YouTube, but yeah, it'll load up. I'm just gonna click on a random video here. It doesn't really matter which one. I'm just trying to show you how scary this actually is. <coughs> okay, let's just tap on the first one we see. Hang on. I'm sorry. Hey, it's Fred. Ah, I can't get that out of my head. Okay, I'm gonna just tap on it. It'll go to the URL like you would in a normal YouTube on the normal YouTube browser. I bet you guys can see that, can you? And I think the brightness is all the way down. You like that? Can I cover the clear up? Yeah, that's a little bit better. Cut my hand. Okay, look. Oh, dang it. Didn't do that one. Maybe this because it's just new updated. Okay, anyway. See how it has that little kind of, you can't watch that video? Well, some of the videos you actually can watch. You just click the little play button. It'll go straight to the YouTube thing. And then when you're done, you just back right out and you're done. It's incredible. Ab absolutely phenomenal. Way to go, Apple. Okay, uh, that's about it for the iPod Touch first generation review. I will be putting a second generation review up soon. And even check out that I might possibly be doing a MacBook 15-inch uh, review. So, uh, yeah, 15-inch. I guess that will be the MacBook Pro. Yeah. Okay, so uh, check that out. Thanks, guys. MasterAcent.com. Woo!